I'm getting ready to make my second soap for the October Soap Challenge Club, and I'm only making two soaps this month. It is Aliens versus Cowboys, Cowboys versus Aliens, and it's actually really hilarious because I just made the other soap, or just poured it, and I realized that I have an alien shirt on. It says, this is my human costume, I'm really an alien. Um, it's actually, it was my mom's and she gave it to my daughter and then I threw it on this morning. So I did, it's really funny and it's very fitting that I'm wearing this shirt. I don't know if you can see it, but okay, back to the soap. So the second one I'm doing, I've already made the embeds and I'm going to pour it and then I'm going to do more work on the back end when I cut it. So, or after I cut it, cut it. So with this challenge, um, they got rid of experience, advance, beginner, regular category, and you either have to pick the cowboy category or cowgirl and, or an alien category. So I'm going with the alien one, which I think is super fun. I had some ideas right away and wanted to go with them. I also had a ton of soap dough and thankfully this challenge used up all of my soap dough. So for this one, I'm going to show you this as an example. I'm actually going to do ET, which I think will be fun. This is an old Pizza Hut cup. This is from 1982, which is as old as I am. So I've got my E.T. right here, and that's him right there. I've got the moon over here, and then the spaceship. So that is what I want to try to do. I went ahead and formed everything, which I drew it out, because when I first started doing it, I had a lot of white and I had some blue, so I thought I'd do soap dough with him. But since this challenge, it's a blind challenge, this challenge is wide open. Um, I can do some texturing and painting and things like that after the fact. So this, this was my um, drawing for everything, but there's my, my ET trying to make sure that he fit okay. And, and um, anyway, I'm going to cut over to me making this part and you'll see that I keep comparing. So this is the side size of my mold and I want to make sure that he was the right size. I didn't want to totally freeform it. And this was kind of based off of the cup. <laughs> so my daughter saw it and she's like, oh my God, mom. I'm like, oh shush. I'm not, I'm not good at drawing. I'm not. So anyway, um, I'm going to use acidic charcoal as the color. Just, I know it's, you know, with, with the, um, it's, what is it, October? So it's right around Halloween, October, November, when the movie is set. And, um, it's set where there's lots of evergreen trees. So I'm going to be using Brambleberry's new black spruce and anise. And I don't smell that licorice smell because that is not one of my favorite scents, but this is like straight up pine forest Christmas tree. I love it. It smells so good. Um, it really smells like going to a tree farm. Um, anyway, it does say no discoloration, mild acceleration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit in the bottom and I'm going to set him to get him set in place and then pour some more and then the moon I'm going to try to get it centered ish and then on the spaceship I'll probably I'll go ahead and have it it tilted in there and my goal oh I don't want to fall over my goal is to have them hovering so I can cut right down the middle on each of them and then have two bars that I can work on in case something doesn't work right or I change ideas or, or whatever and I can always you know plane it off um, but that'll also give me some other plain bars that I can just use I've got like a Christmas tree stamp that I'll do a Christmas tree stamp on so I can sell those these I will keep um, and then I've also got a mold over here that is a Christmas tree that I will go ahead and pour the extra in because this will you know make more than one loaf okay um, Usually I try to make two loaves of soap when I do these challenges, but this is one that I'm going to be keeping and at least the, the parts that'll have them in it. And um, so I'm just going to do one. And plus that's just, it's too much to do um, two loaves and it's going to be a lot of work on these. So um, I think I've got everything. I'm going to be using activated charcoal as the, the surround color and have my recipe ready to go. So let's go ahead, cut over to me hand forming these. And then like, this is my recipe, my soap dough, and we'll go ahead and get started making it. 